Famous UK rapper Central C has finally revealed that he's Chinese. Now, David, the internet is discussing whether this is a big deal or not. Yeah, and a lot of people were also asking the question, Andrew, why did it take so long for him to reveal this? Anyway, you guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out SmileOutSauce, SmileOutSauce.com. Andrew, Central C's real name is Oakley Caesar Sue. Mm. Sue comes from the Chinese side from his dad. Let's pull the quote from the actual a Vogue UK article himself. He says, my dad's Guyanese and Chinese and my mom's English. He says, hesitating before he answers. He usually declines to reveal his ethnicity, and this might be the first time he's actually confirmed it himself. Now, a lot of people are like, why did it take so long for him to say it? Did he think it wasn't cool? Was it for marketing reasons to appeal to you know more markets? Or was it because he had a bad relationship with his dad? Yeah, well, let's talk about it. Obviously, as Chinese guys, we find out the biggest, the biggest rapper from the UK, maybe, you know, as far as like, popularity wise ever, ever ever he's the most popular uk rapper ever globally and maybe not your the best one but he's the he's the most popular one for him to reveal that he's essentially a fourth chinese or i don't know how much chinese is in an eighth it's chinese enough where he has to know to he has he has to say it right he has a full chinese grandparent right but i guess it took him like five years to talk about it i will say this um my friend, Nock Zamal, he's like really tuned into the uh, UK rap scene. He told me this like five years ago when right. Central C was just kind of bubbling up. And uh, I have, we have actually brought it up on this channel before why he doesn't say it. Right? right, right. Because there has been rumors on the internet or people from the UK who know him or have seen his dad. They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually part Chinese, blah, blah, blah. But like, I think that, and, and here's the thing. I kind of always had a feeling because Central C would always talk about his old Toyota Yaris. He'd always say, I'm going from Yaris to Yaris, which is the Lamborghini Yaris, right? And he had that line multiple times. And I was like, what kind of rapper would just talk about his old Toyota so much? That seems like a very Asian thing to do. Right. <laughs> uh, he also had photos on his Instagram with his black friend, and he called it like rush hour and stuff like that. So right. there was some allusion to the fact that he had some... Asian ancestry, but he never confirmed it. Yeah, he never wanted to outright say it, although he does talk about noodles. He knows how to use chopsticks. Um, he, he did, like, do, do a rap video partially in a Chinese takeout in the UK. Yeah, yeah. So there's been some Chinese themes that he's used, but I guess, yeah, he just never wanted to come out and say it. But, David, I guess people from Guyana being part Chinese is really not news. Right. Uh, actually, the first president of Guyana in the 1980s was Arthur Chung, a full Chinese guy was the first president of Guyana. Which is kind of crazy because a lot of Chinese first came to Guyana with, along with the British as laborers. They came as like servants, you know what I mean? Like indentured workforce right. to work in Guyana. And then obviously a lot of them stayed integrated and stuff like that. So there is actually a notable Chinese heritage I mean, all over the Caribbean, Jamaica too, but like, especially Guyana. So we got to talk about it. There's several components to this that I think that are relevant to us talking about this as Chinese guys. One, somebody was saying that everybody always denies their Asian heritage. Freddie Mercury was half Indian. He never talked about it. Right. Bruno Mars is half Filipino, rarely ever talks about it. Until later. later much, life. much, much later. A lot of celebrities, Vanessa Hudgens said, yeah, I didn't embrace it until later. Um, a lot of people sort of hide their Asian side. So, because what? It's not viewed as cool in the West, right? Yeah. Even though that is slowly changing over the decades yeah. and more rapidly recently. Another part is... If you deny your ethnicity or you don't tell anybody, and you can appeal to multiple groups. A lot of people were talking about the Drake effect or other uh, artists where people are like, yeah, everybody can see themselves in this artist and that helps blow up their market share. Right, right, right. Um, so I think let's go into the comment section because there's obviously a lot of different perspectives on this. Right. Somebody said, God, this is really embarrassing. This guy is ashamed of himself. Why can't he be proud of his roots? Because I show speed, which is a famous Twitch streamer was like, yo, bro, what's your ethnicity? And central C just dodged it three times and then just ended the stream. Right. Made it really, uh, cryptic. This and, is and last year, by the way. Um, what do you think about that? Like people were saying it was just something that he was told to do by his managers to maintain market splits because basically so many people around the world were like claiming him. And if he says that he's Asian, it's not like 
Asians, they don't really compose a big portion of the rap market. Yeah, yeah. In the no, same way like Africa or the Arab countries do or whatever. I think it's kind of weird, you know, when you're an artist, especially when you're put in the system and you got to make money and you got other mouths to feed and you got a team to support and people are relying on you. You do, it's just like a restaurant. You have a product that you put out, but you're going to just want to put out the product that most people understand. Right. Right. If you put it out, like we talk about on this channel, complex ethnic or whatever self-identities, multi-layered things, they're very hard to understand. It's hard to sum up. And people don't, in a way, you don't want to tell people everything if it's kind of a weird identity. Right, right. Which, if he came out early and was like, yo, I'm Chinese. You know, I'm Chinese, repping for my Chinese. That would have, like, made, turn people off. I think he's at a point in his career now, he's successful enough, him coming out, and ending up being part Chinese doesn't really right. and matter. And I know that he recently performed at uh, in Hong Kong. Yeah. So maybe that was, he was like, maybe I'll, you know, acknowledge my Chinese so I get some yeah. of this Chinese double yeah, but maybe B money or this Kong to, to be honest, I think enough people like him now it doesn't matter. But sometimes there is this sense that if you reveal early on, and we know some YouTubers right. who would not reveal their <clears throat> ethnicity. We also knew some comedians who did not reveal their exact ethnicity, even amongst other Asians, because they were just were like, I don't know, might like make, might. Well, I mean, I'm just going to my... keep it real. Elliot Chang, our, a friend of ours. Dope. He is Korean and he would not say if he was Chinese or Korean Dude, for like 10 years. No, I mean, let's be honest. Bart Kwan and Joe, they didn't even talk about their actual ethnicities. And they're, they're funny, hilarious guys. They made fun of all different types of Asians, but they never talked about their own ethnicity up until like a few years well, ago. Well, they didn't want to split the market. Let's be honest. I that think was, that was part I, of I it. That, that has that's to be the primary part of it. driver. I can't speak for everybody. That is what I believe is the truth. Um, a lot of people are saying not being black in the rap world is like somebody coming out of the closet. That is what somebody said. Because a lot of rappers, I mean, rap is very black, right? So yeah. people were saying, I thought he was black, but then why is he using the N word? And then a lot of people were saying, Jennifer Lopez went through this. Fat Joe went through this. Mm. French Montana went through this, et cetera, et cetera. Even a lot of mixed people in the rap game went through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, I'm not the person that can give out that pass, obviously. So I don't really know what the rules are or there's obviously not like super strict rules on who can say it, who cannot. I will say this. I don't think Central C says the N-word that much in his right. songs. But and he's, he's not the most street rapper, right? Yeah, he, he's like a lot, like he has a lot of girl fans. Like he's kind of like the cool, like I, Drake lover boy type. Would you compare him to like a Bieber Drake of the UK drill no, scene? No, it's like when Drake came out. Drake like kind of got more like, I guess, hood later or harder later. Let's say he got The second harder. half of his career. Right, but like early Drake, he's kind of more in that lane. Yeah, um, some people were just, uh, a lot of girls were coming out saying his dad is really fine. I like his dad too. Um, I guess I looked into it. His dad is half Chinese and half native Guyanese, which is more of like an Arawak, which oh, like is the a native Caribbean. Indigenous, like yes, yes. almost Native American type. Okay. Um, some people said his real name's Clarence, obviously in reference to 8 Mile. Every rapper is a studio gangster. Oh, somehow he ended up acting super hood, getting tatted on his face now. Bros from the UK burbs. Someone said... He didn't say it because being Asian is not legit for in consideration of street people. It made him look less hood to the mainstream media mm -hmm. because even if he wanted to be Guyanese, of course it would have helped if his dad was black Guyanese versus, <clears throat> you know, two types of Asian looking Guyanese. Right, right, right. I mean, his dad kind of looks like a like a mestizo Filipino. Yeah, or I would like say a, his dad looks Filipino, well, but no, like he a looks rich Hispanic. One. I would say his dad looks Hispanic. Right. Um, other people were saying, man, he was just a soft half white, half Asian kid, you know, with the white mom, blah, 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 blah. Here's, here's the thing, Andrew, girl fans, they just like Central C because he's really good looking and he's, uh, you could tell he's like been good with women his whole life. He's cool. He's not like a street, like killer, killer, I'll slice you dude. But I'm saying dudes will more hold you to that type of standard. Yeah, obviously dudes want to check your street cred more. Now, I do think Central C, he talks about his upbringing. He had a rough upbringing. He did, you know, do some Ill sell some illegal things when he had to. But yeah, I guess on the question of if he's black by black American standards, I don't know. I don't I can't answer that question. Obviously everybody else has their own opinion on it. Right, right, right. But um I guess the truth is that like I said, most of his fan base has been spoken for. He's made enough good music. He's popular enough. He's going to be rich forever. Yeah, this doesn't really hurt him. It's just that maybe he can't get more street 
now, but right. like he has to stay more in that Drake pop rap lane. Yeah, yeah, but but I, he probably was always destined for that. Do you think he made a smart calculus not revealing it until he became a multimillionaire? It's hard to argue. It's mess. All right, so here's the thing. My Chinese side wanted him to rep it all the way up, right? Right. But I can understand, and this is messed up, and we can get into this a little bit later, even in the video. Being Chinese is not cool in the streets. It's just being Asian in general. Being Asian almost. in general is not cool but, in the but streets. But Chinese is, even maybe like being Filipino or being Vietnamese is considered a little bit more like yeah, it's acceptable more street in those valid lanes. or whatever to people's yeah. like perception or the reality, whatever. I mean, I think it's debatable, but I'm just saying it's like, he got the outcome that he wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was raised mostly by his mom because his, his parents broke up at a young age. So I guess his Chinese guy and his dad is not really in his life. And to be honest, his dad doesn't look like me. Right. You know what I mean? Like, his dad's not that Chinese. But maybe so, his grandfather did. Yeah, maybe his grandfather looked more like full Chinese. But I'm like saying, like, his dad, like, it doesn't really, sh like... If you told me his dad's just Hispanic, I would I would also agree. You I know think I mean? a big part of it too is that like him revealing that he's Chinese, he's gonna lose a lot of his other fan bases that thought he was uh, Somali or Arab or whatever, and then he's not necessarily gonna gain a huge bunch of millions of dollars from the Chinese yeah. side. Because there was a few comments of like girls in the UK that love rap that were like, "Oh my God, he's my Chinese king. We love him," but but not a lot. Right, yeah, because yeah, yeah, Chinese yeah. people they're more into Jay Chow or yeah. Higher Brothers or even K -pop. or. Yeah. K-pop, right? They're just not like a, it's just not a rap urban audience. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Do you think it makes sense that he kind of hid his ethnicity early on and now can reveal it because he feels more comfortable in his career? And that's like kind of natural for a lot of people, although I don't love it. It is what it is. Obviously, for us, we can't hide our ethnicity, right. David. We well, have, we've been we've been full blast but, on it since day one. But but I will say this early on, a lot of people, even though they knew we were the Fung brothers, they still asked if we were Korean. And it's not that I would ever have said, Oh, yeah, I'm Korean, and then try to like, hey guys, Koreans like come be more fans of us. You know what I mean? I was just like, I don't know, like Fung is our name. That's that's what it is. Right. I mean, here's the truth, man. In any lane there are certain identities that are higher ranked or more yeah. powerful archetypes. You know what I mean? Like it's more powerful to be like a mage than like a, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't play League of Legends, but you know, there's different archetypes that are better or worse for different circumstances in these like multi MMO RPGs. I'm just saying like people try to like, you know, toe the line in the gray zone mm. to try to get all the advantage points in terms of perception that they can get. Because in entertainment, Andrew, it ultimately boils down to perception. Mm. But like we said, I welcome Central C into the fold. I'd like to see him do hey, some more Chinese stuff. Central C, you get the Chinese pass. Hey, Central I'll give China. It, I, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if even I, if I can give the Chinese pass, but I, I'll put my vote in for you. <laughs> well, he, he's probably part Hakka because Hakka yeah. Chinese were the specific type of canto that went over to guy right, right right so anyways guys let us know in the comments down below central c is part chinese he's probably going to start repping him more now so let's show him some love <laughs> or you don't care it doesn't matter anyways thank you so much and until next time we out how Peace. can i be bad at math because i'm chinese